Good evening. Welcome to Super Striker Sports Show. I'm your host, Eric Sharp, and today I'm joined by a Ghanaian football legend. One time Ghana Premier League as a winner as a player, two time winner as a manager, and a four time manager of the year. I want to see you. Welcome to Super Striker Sports Show. Thank you very much. It's a privilege and honor for me to be among the esteemed audience. It's always a pleasure to be among the Right. So today, we are joined by Awena Sinara to discuss the new Wahala in football, VAR. VAR, the video assistant referee recently introduced in football, to help referees on the pitch make certain key decisions. Since its introduction into the professional game, there's been a lot of controversy surrounding it, whether it's been good, who wondering why we need this technology. Personally, I think it's one of the best things that's happened to football. Because it helps the refuse on the pitch and makes his job easier. You see, that's all well and good when you put it that way. That's what they told us when we were introducing the game. That's not what we have seen. What we have seen is the game being taken over by machines and by robots. These machines are now determining whether the goals that human beings have scored are valid. These machines are saying that there were some two centimeters between you and the defender and it's cancelled everything. It's not a good. How is it possible? I think this way you are making a mistake. It's not, it's not being uh, refereed by robots. We have human beings manning and controlling, controlling the technology. Right? This technology merely helps referees on the pitch in making decisions. Ultimately, the, the decision lies in the hands of the referee. He just uses this technology as an aid to make sure the right decision is made. You can see the referee here having a look on the monitor, right? In the end, the monitor doesn't make the decision, he makes the decision. I saw that. In all my years of coaching experience, never have I come across a situation where they have tried to tell us that this is a hand and this is not a hand. Now, when they have introduced their machines, this is what has happened. They are now trying to redefine the human body for us. Tell us which is a hand and which is not a hand. Now you see, according to them, they have designated zones of the hand which is acceptable to them and which is not We will demonstrate with this ball. You see, I'm a coach, I'm not a player. We will demonstrate with this ball here what it means, physical evidence. According to them, when the ball strikes you here, it's handball. When the ball strikes you here, it's handball. For me as a defender, I accidentally handle the ball like this. It is a handball and I'm penalized, like it will be a penalty. But when the striker controls the ball like this and goes ahead to score, it is given as a clean and valid goal. Why this inconsistency with your machines, my brother? No, 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 no. no. It shows clearly here which part of the arm is considered a foul and which part isn't. The top part here, no foul, game goes on. Here, it's a foul. Handball, game has to stop. It's as simple as that for both defenders and attackers. That's the simple truth. Now, you see, they extend their inconsistency offside. They say that as a striker, I run through on goals for a perfectly clean goal. And you say, no, 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 wait, let's go back. Your armpit or your shoulder was two centimeters in front of the defender. Hence, no goal. Everything has cast. How is it? How is it bad? Yeah, you're right. I agree with you. You're fine. We don't like to see that. But the problem isn't from the system we are. The problem is from the laws of the game. We are beyond the last defender. Let's have a look at your man now. In an offside position, clearly look at the line. It is a historic goal. Look at the position of the lion's man. He's not going to be able to see something like this. We are would have ruled this goal out. They have been chopped off. Look, after this goal, normally went on to beat Bayern Munich in this quarter final. Went on to the semi final, won, and went to win the final against Atletico Madrid. Look, Look at Ronaldo again offside in that same match, two goals offside. Look, beyond the last defender. The absence of VR changed history. 
Madrid wouldn't have won twice in the league. Now we'll still be able to say that no team has won the Champions League twice in the league. And yes, I agree with you. My problem is that in order to get these correct decisions, why do you have to draw all these lines and make all of these comparisons? Football is about joy and expression, it's about living in the moment. Without, when there was no VR, we used to get iconic celebrations. Messi and the Ben and Bow. We had Jesse Lingard playing the Midley Rock and the Emirates. You know, we had Wayne Rooney celebrating supremely in front of the Manchester City fans. You see, now VR has taken away from that spontaneity in the game. It's now replaced with fear. Quite a good goal, and you're now thinking, hey, is this referee going to draw lines and then make sure that my goal was offside? This is my problem with the game. You see, you see, as celebrations are a part of the game, but then there are more important things than celebrations. We need to make sure it's a valid goal to celebrate the game, right? You can't just be celebrating in the house. They go. They we have situations where fans will even come and join the players to celebrate on the pitch. They are telling me that the referee will say, no, 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 wait. Although we are in the moment, in the spirit of the game, your machines at the back have decided that somebody's big two or two centimeters offside. So all of you should go back to your seats. This is the football, this is the future of football that you want. You see, under normal circumstances, the fans shouldn't be coming onto the pitch. Right? But it's something that happens so much that we are used to it. It's part of the game now. But then, why should the fans come onto the pitch before the match has ended? You see, you can't, you can't, until the final whistle is gone, you can't celebrate a match that you won. So it's best for the fans to wait till the final whistle before they get onto the pitch and start celebrating. You know, right? this iconic moment, Aguero came with only five seconds left to end the whole season and City won the title. You cannot hold back your excitement. Because you say that the final was not. This is a historic moment. Your first Premier League title. With five seconds left to go. Your computer has unlikely come back. And you won't tell us that, wait, 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 stop. You want to check. You want to use your VAR robot to check and draw lines to make sure whether the goal was complete before you can celebrate. Hold on. It is not that. Let, 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 right. let, let's, let, let's look at a situation like this. Imagine a world. Right, was offside in that moment. Would the fans be able to celebrate? Look, 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 look at it. He was offside. There was no VR. The offside goes to, right? Though Man City would have won the league, it's not something they can brag about because they know that that league title belongs to Manchester United because the goal that sealed this victory was from an offside position. There's no joy in that, knowing that you don't deserve the win. Look, I think that sometimes after these Arsenal fans, they don't want to listen to you. Then. It looks like it's not very good for them to accept that we are it's a menace in our game today. It's unfair. But unfortunately, it is what it is. The game is gone. It's important to get these decisions correct. These moments make and define history. Okay? As much as I don't like it, and I feel that the game is gone, I think I have to accept that, you know, sometimes a lot of our great victories were made from mistakes. And maybe it's important for the future of the game to finally get them right. Okay, let's take a quick commercial break or we'll be back with the latest transfer news.